Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look at McPixel! This is a truly unique game with a truly unique backstory, the way I understand it. Here's how I've come to know McPixel over the past, uh, you know, six weeks? Two months, maybe? Basically, the game was made, I forget the developer's name, but he made it, released the game, and then he found out that people were sharing it on popular, you know, like, torrent distribution site, the Pirate Bay. Aw, well that's a sad story for an indie developer, right? Maybe not! He goes on there and he says, hey guys, I'm glad that you're playing the game, uh, even if you're not seeing fit to actually pay me for it. You know what, here's some actual, like, like promo codes for the game, just go get the full version for free and you know, not risk any like malicious viruses or stuff like that. And then everybody's sort of getting on this bandwagon of like, whoa, McPixel developer, like so benevolent. Maybe that's true, maybe it's not. I guess it depends on your perspective. But uh, you know, coincidentally, soon Steam Greenlight comes out, and McPixel is one of those games that because it has amassed such a large following on the internet because of its developers' opinions and, and his actions. Um, now becomes one of the first top 10 green light games. It gets green lit, and now, as far as I know, it's the first game to actually make it from, uh, like, green light to green light approval, and then from green light approval to actually being on Steam. So this came out a little earlier this week. It's five bucks. It's basically like a rapid fire WarioWare slash, like, almost point and click adventure style game. It's totally bizarre, totally crazy. Um, we're gonna... I don't want to quit playing, I actually want to get into the game here. Sometimes I find things a little bit confusing. Go, go back to the menu, okay. There's a lot of nut kicking that goes on in this game. Yes, we will press this button to start. The basic mechanics of McPixel, as we enter our story mode here. Uh, basic mechanics of McPixel is that we're gonna have all these levels. And every single level, I believe I'm still on chapter one here. I've only played about a half hour so far, but um, every level, usually there's like six levels per... Um, five or six levels per section here, uh, it has a bomb in it, and you have to figure out how to defuse that bomb, or, you know, somehow make it so that the bomb doesn't explode. That's basically all the way that I can say, or it's the only way that I can say or explain what the hell goes on in McPixel. Alright, so we're on this level here, this is how every level starts, it's quick. So we're in a hospital, we got 20 seconds, we don't even know where the bomb is, so the first things first, we can interact with things. We can go over, kick this lady in the nuts, see what's going on with this dude's stomach. Oh, I just pushed on his stomach and he farted some dynamite out. And we completed the level, because the bomb didn't blow up our building here. Alright, now we're in some kind of like Buddhist temple, uh, and we'll see what goes on here. So we got this candle down here on the ground, we've also got this man over here. We can kick him in the nuts. We can see that Buddha has, uh, dynamite on his head, and has just squashed us here. I was just trying to get the dynamite out of the way so the temple wouldn't explode, so that is us failing a level in McPixel. So now we're on a train. It's taking you far away from here, so we've got this, like, I don't even know what this is on the ground. It's like a bear trap, or like, mechanical teeth or something. We've got an old man over here. Kick the old man in the nuts, nothing happens. Uh, we can open our door and the old man will fall out, but our bomb over here is still gonna explode. So basically, every level of McPixel, is trying to figure out how to stop this bomb from exploding. Oftentimes the solutions are remarkably random. So in this one, I'm trying to remember how we solve it. We have this kid over here, we can kick her in the face. Kick this kid in the face. Uh, we have a trophy, we can pick that up. And then I think if we sound the fire alarm, the kid will run out, grab the trophy, get the bomb out of his locker, replace it with the trophy. I have no idea why the kid was wearing a bomb in his backpack. But you know what, when I play like point and click adventure games, I oftentimes complain, is this not the same level here? I oftentimes complain, this is the hospital. Uh, don't just, yo, yo, blew his nose in the clock. I oftentimes complain that the solution is abstract, right? McPixel embraces that. Like, you know, normal point and click adventure game, I'd be like, get the stick, put the piece of gum on the stick, stick the stick down the grate, pick up the keys that you dropped. Uh, McPixel is like, we're just gonna give this dude the candle. Uh, McPixel embraces that. It's like, yeah, pick up the candle, let Buddha blow on it, it'll shake his head and the dynamite will fall out the window. Like, that shit is fucking crazy. I have no idea whether I like this game or sort of hate that it exists. I think what we want to do here is strap this bear trap onto this man. Or we want to strap it onto this man, maybe? Yeah, stop kicking- oh, he's gonna get it caught on his foot? And then he's gonna freak out and, yes, kick the bomb out the window. Of course, how could I not see that on my first attempt? Um, have we completed all the levels yet? I guess we're now we're looking for gags, like secrets, but I don't really care about looking for secrets. I just kind of want to... What if we give the trophy to the lady here? That's probably what the, the game wants us to do to get a gag. Give the trophy to the lady, kick her in the face. What about give the kid the trophy? Sure, you take it. Alright, um, it's about to explode here. They could open up one of these lockers. That would certainly be a new gag for us, I think. 
This is a game, it's, it's like a half adventure, half Wario where half designed to be humorous. Uh, let us exit here, because we've seen enough of this. We'll enter into the second world here. Um, back to menu. Let us get, yes, into our second world here, and then we'll show off the third world, which I have not looked at at all, and you can see my thought processes that try to solve a level of McPixel, because there is a lot of trial and error. But first I'll show off these solutions. Gotta get myself back in the abstract mindset for McPixel. So if I remember correctly, we've got some disco in here. What we want to do is take this apple and uh, put it on the turntable? Or give it to this guy. Now put it on the turntable, yes, then it'll fly off. Nope, we're just gonna explode here. Alright, I've made a terrible mistake. We've got our back alley here. I solved this one and I don't even remember, like, as I solved it I had no idea what happened. I think I picked up this tennis ball and like put it in this trash can. And then the homeless man went in after it and then... Exploded, alright. Well, that's how you solve one level. Oftentimes when I'm playing McPixel, I'm like, did I beat the level or not? Oh, turns out I did. So let's see what we've got on this one. Alright, we've got a snake. And then an atomic bomb. We're gonna grab our shovel here, and I think what we want to do is kick the bomb into the snake's mouth and then use the shovel to beat it in, and then the snake will absorb all of the damage there. Imagine that. Snakes! Nature's bomb shelters. This level pissed me off. I actually spent probably like 10 minutes on this level alone before I realized, okay, so you can like click on this thing, and it's like a seal, the seal will come out of the water. I don't know if it's a shark or a seal or a narwhal or something. Uh, it's a little bit hard to tell. We'll check back in on that level in a second. Let me try to remember my damn solution here. Definitely involves the apple. And then like this dude's hair? Yeah! You put- you replace the apple with the hair, but we still explode here, yes. I don't know, I guess that dude's hair is hollow. He's trying to be Richard Aoti. Uh, we're just still looking for gags on these levels, so why don't we... Uh, pick up the tennis ball here, put the tennis ball in the other trash can, see what happens. Oh! We're gonna get bashed in the face by this bouncer. Explode the city block. Why are all these bombs everywhere? I think that this game takes a uh, heavy influence from MacGruber, like the, from present- every basic element, like presentation. Um, can I kick the snake with the shovel now? Oh god, don't bite me on the dick! Um, like presentation, the splash of McPixel every time things go up, or everything, every time things go tits up or go completely wrong. Definitely MacGruber was a, a big influence, I think, in making this game. So we can also click on this dude and he'll flash us. That was not necessary. You should really wear some clothes under that, man. It's gonna be pretty goddamn cold. This is what my neighborhood looks like, because I live in Canada every December. Or should I say, that's what Americans think my neighborhood looks like in Canada every December. Anyway, let's... Open up our turns. There we go! We get the pie, the pie hits the dude in the face, then he throws the pie, and suddenly our party doesn't explode anymore. Imagine that. So the reason we're not playing these two middle levels is apparently I've already seen all the gags in those levels. Uh, what if we go just go over to this trash can first? What the hell is this? Is that it? Oscar the Grouch? I don't know about McPixel, man. Oh, right, we did see a new gag there, okay. This, this game is crazy. Um... What if we just open the door and jump out? Maybe that'll be how we can see all the gags. Maybe? I don't know. It is, okay. So if you get three of the same color in a row, either by getting all the gags or completing the levels, then you get a bonus. So we might be able to get it here. Now, what this is what bothered me is that there's like a white spot in the ground where you can pick up a snowball. So I made this guy freeze his nuts off. We still exploded. Did we get a bonus round? No, we have not seen all gags yet. Anyway! That, you get the basic mechanics there. Uh, let, let us go back to the menu. Let's try out our third world here. Might take me 10 minutes to figure out how to solve all these levels. Blow your mind. Um, find all gags. No, I haven't. Did I beat all these levels? I must have beaten all these. Okay, we're gonna go back to the menu. We'll, we'll go to world, um, or sorry, chapter two then. We'll check out some of that stuff. So we'll kick this kid into this pit. Uh, I guess we wanna go to floor one. Sometimes just navigating the menus is, is weird enough. But it's weird in a way that I can sort of get behind. I don't know, this game's crazy. I kind of like it, though. I think it's it's definitely worth $5 as a curiosity. Let's see, okay, so we got a bomb here. We got a, a dude. We're doing a penalty kick. Uh, let's just kick the ball, see what happens. Can we score? Okay, oh, oh god, I didn't kick it. I just picked it up. And then I punched Mia Ham in the face. And we all exploded. All right. Punched me a ham in the face. We'll put that one on the resume. We're at the supermarket. Let's see what we get here. Okay, so we got, uh, like some bottles. We got a dog poo on the ground? Or is that just, I don't know what that was. Some kind of liquid. 
Busted that open, supermarkets exploded. All right, we got another, like a beach house here or something. See, okay, we got a, oh, it's a, it's a Jim Jilbong. Uh, let's pick up the dynamite and try to, no, oh, don't kick the dynamite, you fool. Pick it up and put it under the water. Make it so the fuse doesn't light. This is a very strange and kind of welcome take on the point and click adventure genre for me. Okay, so we got like a, a corpse doing sit-ups here. Let's just come over and say hello. Oh! Is that guy, is that guy, I thought he was pissing dynamite. So, so far this is going real bad. Uh, we are losing here, but we're, you know, the first run of each level of McPixel is just like discovering the mechanics of each level. So what do we have here? We have a bomb, we have a life preserver. Let's give the life preserver... Oh, we just threw the life preserver over the edge and jumped off. Well, I think the boat is still gonna explode. Yeah. Still traveling there, which is pretty impressive. And we're on a spaceship, okay. Alright, spaceship. Haven't solved any of the puzzles. We got like a beer on the ground, we got an alien. Engines melting down. Let's just put, touch this button. Pixel doors, 1964, ready load, space invaders. Okay, so this guy's giving us the finger. Spaceship's gonna explode. It looks like we gave him the finger back. I have no idea how to solve these. Again, we're gonna keep up with this trial and error. Okay, so instead of kicking the ball, let's go talk to Mia Ham first. We're gonna come up with some strategies. Yeah, kick her in the nuts. That's what I meant. How about, can we talk to the goalie? Alright, well that didn't work out too well. Sorry, the keeper! I actually am a, a soccer slash football fan myself, so I, I, I feel the misery of having said that. Let's see what's up with this green thing on this conveyor belt. Um, can we combine green thing with dog poop? And then make the supermarket explode? Alright. Accidentally created a bomb anarchist cookbook style there. What do we have here in our beach house? Well, we got an old man. Let's try to talk to- we'll kick the old man in the nuts, he- the dynamite goes up his bum and he explodes! McPixel! I think we beat that level. Alright, sometimes the solutions are, you know, easier than you might expect. So we have a man here, the man has the the dynamite. We want to get- what if we talk- what if we talk to the zombie, like push the- Didn't do anything. What about this thing on the ground here? Give- give this to the zombie? No? Put it in the ground? Alright, does that defuse the dynamite? Nope! Alright, I have no idea what happened, but we ended up losing there, and there goes our chance at the bonus round. Bonus round is just choose who to kick in the nuts and you'll get a prize. Okay, so we got a sailor here. What's up, sailor man? We can kick him in the nuts. We got this anchor. We can kick the anchor. Anchor will go over the edge. Boat will explode and continue traveling at like 25 knots. More exciting than deadliest catch! Alaskan storm. Okay, back on the spaceship here. What the hell? Um, let's pick up the space beer. Let's give it to the alien. Maybe he'll be like, hey, let's share a space beer and hang out together. Or we can just piss on his leg and then he'll give us the finger and we'll explode. All right. I didn't do anything to piss on his leg. I wanted to give him the space beer. Sometimes McPixel, it's the id. Uh, okay, so maybe pick up the ball, then give it to the goaltender. You, oh, yeah, see ya. We don't explode anymore. But that is uh, probably a red card for blatant handball. So we're in the supermarket. Okay, we got this liquid. What if we just like leave? Can I? I can't. What if we give it this liquid to this lady and force her to drink it? Uh, her stomach will explode. And the supermarket will not explode. McPixel! Making progress. Okay, now we got this zombie. We've already been to this one. Oh, we didn't solve it though. What if what, this cross might do something for us? We kick that. Um, God himself punched us in the face? Is that what happened there? I'm a little bit confused. We've only got three levels left to go here though, let's figure it out, okay. So let's pick up the bomb, that's something we've never done so far, and then attach it to the life preserver, and then throw them both. Oh, we can't. Attach it to the anchor. You drink the bomb? What the hell? McPixel, we win! I have no idea what I did there. I think I just drank some explosives. Now the alien, this guy's been pissing me off. Um, okay, we're gonna take the beer and maybe pour it into the computer slot here? Yeah, fry that, then the ship won't blow up. No, nope, ship still blew up. <laughs> Note to self, if your computer's acting up, threatening to explode, do not just pour your beer into it. Okay. So we're gonna pick up Zombie Baby. We're gonna kick the cross. We're gonna bash it with the zombie. Th ah, there we go, that should do it. And the graveyard didn't explode, thank god. That would have been a hell of a mess. We've only got one level left. How are we gonna solve this spaceship here? 
What do, can we click on these like maps over here? These graphs? No. The window? No. Engine meltdown? No. Um, what if we give the beer to the top computer? No, it did the same thing. All right. One second. We're going to try this again. It was not a good solution there. Um, if we just talk to the alien, we just kick him in the nuts, right? So I'm a little bit confused. Yeah, we can like kick him in the nuts pretty solid. It's satisfying, but it's not really getting a whole lot done. Can we pour the beer out the window? There's not even that many elements for us to deal with right now. I'm a little confused. I want to give him the beer. Give the alien the beer. Well, we're just going to explode here, I think. Yes. Sometimes I feel like the solution is like, oh, just don't do anything. It's not. <laughs> that would be a key mistake. How do we solve this level? Let's take the beer. If we give it to the alien, we just drink it in front of him and then kick him in the face, right? Yeah, and then pee on his leg. He gives us the middle finger, we explode. Been down this road before. What the hell is up with this level? Can we take the beer and just drink it ourselves? Is the beer even important? Space beer. Drink it. Put it down. Oh, there's another thing on the ground here I didn't see before. Open the hatch, drink the space beer, piss on the fire, put the fire out! Space Station mission solved! Alright. This game is pretty fucking crazy. Uh, we're gonna go back to our main menu here. That's McPixel, uh, available now on Steam. The first game, as far as I know, from uh, Greenlight that has gone through that entire process and is now available for distribution. There should be like nine more coming or something like that. But in any case, I, what you see is what you get here. I try not to show off too much of it. This is all early game stuff. Uh, so that if you want to play it for yourself, the surprise, which is really the, the thing you'd be buying this game for, and the humor is not ruined. Is this a game that's for everybody? No. But it is, you know, to put it in perspective, five bucks and totally unique. There's also, I didn't even notice that portal reference there. Cool. Uh, unique, super crazy, occasionally frustrating, but I don't know, man. McPixel. It's five bucks. It's crazy. I am glad I bought it, and I don't know what else to say. <laughs> In any case, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you next time.